Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm reviewing yet another animated movie. Oh boy, I'm over 100 years old, I'm still talking about animated movies. Well, I'll talk about whatever I want. This is a requested review, so I'll be talking about the first Madagascar film. I will take care of the other two as well, of course, because as I've said before, uh, if I review one installment of a franchise, I might as well review them all. Unless there's like a specific reason not to, but that's the rule of thumb. If I review one, I might as well review the rest. But I will review two and three anyway, because this individual wants me to do it anyway. So here we are, I guess, which is fine, of course. Anyway, as always, let's talk about the plot. So let's get into it, shall we? So here we go. So, yeah, the main character, well, the main character and, and his friends... And uh, let's just say that they would em embark in this crazy adventure because the lion character over here, yeah, I guess you can say he's pretty bored in some ways. He wants more of a life, and he wants to go and just have a lot of fun, of course, which is which does make sense considering the fact that he is an animal and his friends are animals. So of course, being all caged up in the zoo isn't quite an ordeal. Uh, it's, not, it's not actually ideal for for these characters, like, at all. So, of course, um, they do find a way out, obviously. They basically just get out and leave. And, yeah, it gets pretty more pretty damn crazy. More crazy than it expected. So, yeah, so there's this group of animals who have spent their lives in this New York zoo. Pretty much end up in the jungles of Madagascar. And, yes, they have to adjust... To the new way of life because this is completely different they, they've been sheltered for pretty much their entire lives so there you go and that's uh that's definitely a thing of course obviously so basically longing to roam free wild in the vast landscape of mother africa uh our lion character really wants to just go out and have some fun with his friends but Obviously, it's not exactly as easy as, you know, he might have thought. Maybe it's too crazy, but it's something he must deal with along with his friends. So how can he, how much of a wild animal is he? So yeah, it seems that his dreams had came true nonetheless, but he pretty much had to deal with it, I guess you can say, in some ways. So yeah, it's definitely it's something that he has to deal with and whatnot. So... Yeah, again, I'm reviewing another DreamWorks picture, which, like I mentioned before, reviewing DreamWorks pictures, uh, they're animated movies, I mean, yeah, it's not something I've, I've done often, like, hardly at all, but this is one of the few occasions where I actually do, of course, where I, just, where I actually talk about and whatnot, so here we are, talking about this animated film that's aimed for the whole family, so yeah, it's definitely something I can say, it's, it's enjoyable, the, the character designs are pretty good. And yeah, you can tell the type of style of animation it is. The animation itself is pretty good. It's very smooth, obviously, and I like that. The art style itself, when it comes to the character designs and whatnot, it's very good. I like the design of the characters. The art design is very good here, folks. You can tell that this is supposed to be something that DreamWorks had made, and you can obviously tell. And when it comes to the animation itself, the animation is very smooth. So you can tell that this movie was created by a, a bunch of professionals who knew what they were doing. I mean, okay, while the overall story isn't exactly anything groundbreaking, but the story is good. It does have a very good story for what it's worth. And I did like the, what they were trying to do with these characters. So yeah, the characters here are great. And the characters are really fun to look at. So... The voice acting and the characters themselves really make up for it in a lot of ways because I do like their lively personality, especially from the lion character and the zebra character. The zebra character being voiced by Chris Walk, yeah, these characters are very lively. I guess you can say that. That's great. I really like the fact that these characters have this, you know, uh, really out there personality, and, and I think that's a good thing. That's that's good. I like that. So. Yeah, there's, of course, uh, something I'd say when it comes to animals. 
And I can see why the world choose Anima as the main character, because when it comes to anime, animal main characters, there was a certain appeal when it comes to this stuff, when it comes to the main characters being animal, so it makes sense that they would do this, so there's nothing inherently wrong with that. One thing I can definitely say is that there was a diverse of characters that became friends, and that's definitely a good message there, obviously. And I can say that they liked comedy throughout the entire thing. And you can see, obviously, you see what they were trying to do. So, for what it's worth, yes, this is, isn't too bad of a watch. You've got nothing else to do. You've got some time to um, re just relax, get some popcorn, get some soda or whatever, and just, you know, give this a watch. So, it's definitely worth getting into because I actually thought this was a pretty solid film overall. And, yeah, it has moments. Which I don't want to give too much into, really, because I I don't want to spoil it, really. For a 2005 animated film, the animation itself is actually pretty good. Uh, even though it's quite a bit older, but that's fine. But yeah, the film itself is very entertaining in its own little way. And the characters live in their own world, of course. They have a sense of humor. And yeah, this have, it does have a pretty coherent story. The entire thing. So, when it comes to consistency, I can't really complain too much at all. Yeah, yeah, no complaints here. No complaints whatsoever. So anyway, I'd say I'll give this a recommendation. If you have not seen this one as of yet, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It's a 7.0 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. Yeah.